Greetings, Greenwich here. So today we're going to do some Simeon missions. They're running two times cash on RP, and I figured I would knock some of these out, make some money, add it to the pile. All right, so I'm not going to do these the way I normally do them, where I try to, you know, save money and stuff like that. I'm just going to do them and see what, however I can do it. Try to use pieces of equipment that I rarely use. Try to figure out some new ways of doing these. So I'm going to steal this car, get far enough away from my personal vehicle so I can call in something big and explosive. Because for this mission you really need something with a lot of protection, and I have just the said vehicle. It's just it's stored on the other side of the map. Let's jump out here, call the mechanic. Let me get out of the road before I get run over. You calling for yes, some wheels? I am. I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. There we go, and I want that. I'll get there as soon as I can. All right. Opens seem to be okay. Let's switch over to this. No, not that. Right there. Okay, cool. Just in case I need it. I shouldn't need it, but just in case. Ah, uh, yes. Here we are. I rarely get to use this thing. One of the things about it, though, is I can only drive it in first person. I have the hardest time trying to drive this thing while in third person. But in first person, I got it down pretty good. It actually works really well like this, too. But now all we have to do is drive all the way over here, and I should not have any problems with the bad guys once I come out of here. This is pretty well protected. Should make a pretty simple mission. This is quite a ways to drive in this thing, and it is a little bit faster than my other tank, but it's still pretty slow. Never since I've got this tank, I rarely ever call in the Rhino. That's why I wish we could sell off some of this older stuff that we have. I mean, not more than I could use the money, but just because I have two tanks, I have a couple other vehicles that I don't use at all. Let's sell these off and buy other vehicles. But I'm not going to because why when I have so much other stuff just sitting here? It, it's kind of crazy how Rockstar does this. I mean, I'd even take a loss on the other tanks just to get rid of it. Alright, we're getting close. Oh, a little bit further up. I need to start using the map. I was trying to just drive over here visually. Alright, switch this back to third person, and I want to park this away from that door. Let's come over here. Spin this thing around. See, I hate trying to drive this thing. Oh, look at that. Just got to use really use both joysticks. I'm not good at driving like that. Alright, let's go inside and blow some stuff up. This is actually the fun part. Okay, so the easy way to do it is to use sticky bombs, but that's expensive. So I think I'm only going to use five. So I'm going to try something. I'll blow these up. Then I'm going to blow the rest of the ones up doing something different. Get these ones that are a pain in the butt. Especially this one back here. I forget this one all the time doing this. And I know it's back there too. Just out of sight, out of mind. Alright, so that's got those five down. Let's use the minigun. This should make short work of that. Yep, that does pretty fast. It's actually destroying them before it's blowing them up. So that's kind of cool. Just watch your mini map to make sure that they're destroyed. See, that's destroyed, and I was still just shooting at it. There we go. That made pretty quick work. I think that's how I'm going to have to do that from now on. Sometimes the minigun's useful. Sometimes it's not. Makes you too slow.
Man, that thing's taking some hit. Oh, it's already blown up. I'm just... It's not. Explosion. Explosion. It hasn't exploded. I love how your brain will sometimes just pick words up and just... Eh, we're going to create a new word. Alright. So all of that's destroyed. Now let's go outside and jump in the tank. That should have been still pretty expensive. I used five sticky bombs, 250 a piece. So, if I hadn't used those sticky bombs, it'd probably be a lot cheaper on the ammo, but I'm not really worried about it on these. Not when it's double cash and double RP. All right, let's hurry up and jump in here before 500 people show up and shoot me. It takes forever to get in here. Look at this, I'm getting all kinds of shot up. Doesn't matter now. And eradicate. And I'm just gonna take my time and kill everybody. Might as well. It's not like I'm in any danger. Get points for it. This thing makes a really cool sound when it fires too. Kind of like a metallic echoey sound. Oh, I missed. Oh, there's a guy over here. This is pretty much like shooting fish in a barrel. I like it. This is much easier than trying to use the Karuma. And everybody's almost gone. I've killed that guy three times. Oop, missed him. Stay still. I got him that time. Alright, this area is clear. I could jump out and get the ammo and all that stuff is laying there, but I just really don't care. Alright, so now all we have to do is drive away, and this mission will end once we get a certain distance away. So that's pretty cool. I think I'll probably use that now, just for the making money aspect of this. Oh, for a second there, I thought I did something wrong. Okay. That scared me just a little bit. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. If I had waited just a little bit longer, I would have broke the 8-minute mark and probably would have made some more cash. Now we're going to do this one. And I think I have a pretty good way of doing this. All right, I've got to come out of first person. We're not going to use the tank on this. So I'm going to have to steal another vehicle real quick. Hey, look, it's another one of those vehicles. The same one I stole the first time. Alright, so let's go back about basically the same place I went the first time and call in another vehicle. Now this time, I am going to call in my Oppressor Mark II because this is going to make this job extremely easy. Call this in. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. There we are. Got that. I'll bring it to you. For this to get delivered. Now this makes this extremely simple, like I was saying. You can fly right to where the car is right up inside of the plane. You'll see. I actually tried this a few times to see if it would work, and it does work quite well. Now my only complaint about this thing is the way that the boost refills. I know you have to let off the gas to refill the boost, but I think this, this would be a lot better if it just trickle refilled. Even if it did it three times as slow, it would still be a lot better than having to let off the gas. Alright, so the plane's right over there. I'm just going to go right past all this. And just fly right into the plane. Just like that. And we are in here. Alright. 
Now I gotta get out of here. Now for this first one, I'm not gonna call Lester because I need it for the second one. So the first one, I'll just lose the cops. Which I can normally do pretty fast. Turn right here, my little secret spot. This little spot helps out so much. Alright, so let's get out of here. Get away from these cops. Make a bunch of turns. Because that's how you lose the cops. You don't lose the cops by running straight and going fast. You lose the cops by making a bunch of turns. Alright, so looks like I'll be pretty clear over here. Scoot down this way. Oh no, there's a cop right there. Oh, I didn't see it. Well, now I got stars again. Oh, I almost lost those too. Might as well run for the ditch. Oh, I'm going to go to the tunnel. It's a little bit further away, but it's a guaranteed get rid of the cops. So now I got them really strong. Alright, well that was a little bit further away than I wanted to go, but at least with the tunnel, I'll head back to where I need to deliver this. I was hoping just to swing right around and get closer to Simeon's thing without and lose the cops. Uh, oh, look at that. That's just mediocre driving. There we go. Jump right off here. And I'm already starting to lose the cops, so it shouldn't take too long in here. This tunnel really has saved my butt so many times. I remember me and a friend of mine were playing one time when we were chased by a tank. And we were down here and dude could not find us. We'd pop out of little holes every once in a while and just destroy him. And just go right back underground. Dude kept him. like, I guess I thought he thought we were in a glitch or something. Could not find us. It was hilarious. But then he did, it eventually did find us. He killed us a few times, so <laughs> he got it back. But it was pretty awesome. It was fun. Alright. So, be careful going through this part. You gotta watch out for trains, too. I've been coming through here a few times, and then been right about here, and there'll be a train coming. You gotta slam on the brakes, throw it in reverse, do the whole backwards driving up thing. Or you could just let the train smash you against the wall until it blows the car up. Whichever one you want to do, I mean. It's all up to you. Don't let me hold you back. Alright, so here we are. Just down the street from Simeon's. Like I say, that tunnel helps out a lot. That's a really good go-to for losing the cops. So we got one of these vehicles delivered. Park this right here. Call in my oppressor. Do the same thing again. Just fly right back in there. Why did I do it this way? I should have just pulled up the other menu. Oh well, I've already got this going. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. Alright. I'll get there as soon as I can. Let me run up here. Oh, that's typical. Delivered it to the other entrance. That's that's just about right. I should have just stayed where I was. I knew I was going to do something like that. Alright, so let's fly back over to the airport. And another thing I really like about this thing, it is a lot harder to fall off of this than it is the other oppressor. The other oppressor, you can go around the corner and just barely nick something, and it's throwing you into the woods. This thing, I've actually slammed into buildings, and it's just like, oh, okay, just keep going around. So, if you're trying to figure out which one you want, you definitely want this one. Because the other one is really cool. I dig it. I love the motorcycle. I love the power. I love the way that it, it does all that. But this one is way better. Trust me. I didn't deal with it for so long, and then I, then I finally got it. You, you want this. Oh, look at me here. Getting all shot up. Alright.
I still haven't changed over to the other weapons yet. I'm gonna have to do that pretty soon. Change over to the explosive rounds and give that a try. Because the 20 rockets are cool, that's just they don't last long enough, especially with me. I'm used to using the buzzard where I just keep the rockets going the entire time. Alright, so now let's call Lester. End this pretty quick. Hi. What service are you looking for? So you don't want to get in serious trouble, huh? Okay, leave it with me. There we go. Take my shortcut again. I like this car too. It's got a great engine sound. Okay, so all we have to do now is drive this to the dealership. I think we should get damage bonuses for this. If you don't bring in the car all beat up and shot up. Yeah, I don't know. The way that they do their damage in this game for certain things, it would probably be horrifying. So you get shot trying to deliver a vehicle that you stole. Oh, there's $1,200 off the car right there. One bullet. So, yeah, that'd probably be a bad idea. Plus, I do get into a lot of unnecessary wrecks. But here we go. Got this second car delivered. This should pay out a pretty good bit. And I like that it doesn't have the Simeon part too, where he comes out and he does the whole speech. You know, that that's cool for one time, but after that, who cares? Alright, so let's figure out which one of these I want to do. I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to try Sasquatch differently. Let's flip that down. Do that. Oh, great. It's going to be raining while I do this. Awesome. Oh, cool. It cleared it up. Alright. So I want to use my buzzard for this. And it will not let you call it in as a Pegasus vehicle. Pegasus is unfunctional while you're doing missions like this, apparently, for some reason. They sell us all this stuff. And they're like, oh, no, you can't use it when you want to use it. It's only you can use it when sometimes. So the way to get around this is you have to own a hangar. And then you can call the vehicle in like that as like a personal flying vehicle. And the thing that I have a problem with this is, is it never puts it right close next to you. See, if you're a CEO and you call in your buzzard, it'll put it within uh, 20 feet of you. When you do it like this, it's like, yeah, we're going to put it somewhere. We're not quite sure where it's going to be, but it's going to be around you. Could be within 100 miles. So this is pretty annoying having to drive to go find this. Especially since it is a buzzard, and you know it can be placed right beside you if you're doing the CEO stuff. I mean, I understand the Hydra and stuff like that needing to be put somewhere else, but... The buzzard and the other helicopters, those can be dropped right where you need them. Alright, so let's get into my non-conspicuous looking buzzard. See, the only thing about this is now I try not to destroy this. Usually, if I'm just in the CEO buzzards or my Pegasus one, I'll jump out of it or something like that because I'm not worried about it getting destroyed. This one, if it gets destroyed, I have to pay for it, so I try to land this one. I mean, it's only $1,000, but, you know, $1,000 over and over adds up. Alright, so we're going to land this over here, out of the way, that way when I go to get back in it, I don't get shot by the cops a whole bunch. Cool. Now we'll run over here, jump in the Sasquatch, and then drive it right back over to where that is. So we're not going to use the Sasquatch. It's fun and all, but... This mission takes way too long trying to use this car to destroy stuff. Here, 
I should buy one of these. Alright. So let's jump in this and let's go destroy all these vehicles. This is going to make this a lot easier. The dude ran all the way over here just so he could shoot me. But the good thing is, you only get two stars. So you won't have to deal with helicopters, just ground forces. But there will be a bunch of them, and like as you see right there, as I'm trying to lock onto other things, you will lock onto them. So you might want to try this with different stuff. Because I tried this with the oppressor, and I just ran out of rockets too fast. So maybe if I had the, the explosive rounds, the MG rounds, I might go back to using the oppressor for this. I really need to try to switch those over and give that a try. Ah, I'm hitting the buildings and stuff. Oh, the bridge. There's a lot of stuff to try to shoot through here. That's like the third rocket has hit the bridge. I am getting some of these, though. Ah, ah, this is getting worthless. I'm hitting. Other stuff. The cops are getting close. They're going to start shooting at me. Oh, uh, that was stupid. Oh, why didn't I come over here to start with? That's much better. Cops are right below me. Okay, I'm out of here. That was it. Cool. That was kind of annoying, but a little bit easier. At least I didn't have to drive over all of them. Let's go after the one... I don't know. I don't want to do those yet. Because I'm about to get out of the car. Let's do the one that i got to chase first. I don't know what I locked onto. Some poor guy in that building over there just got destroyed. Okay, so that one's down. Ooh, almost hit that crane. Ooh, almost hit it again. Gotta be careful. Got him. Cool. Didn't think I was going to. Hey, cranes. A lot of stuff over here you can get crashed on. Alright, so now over to Benny's and get these. What do I, oh, I locked onto the cop but way over there. See, I love how that works. You'll lock onto something that's like a cop real far away, but you can't lock onto what you want to shoot that's right in front of you. I've had that happen a bunch of times. That works with the guns, too. I don't know how many times I've been trying to kill cops that were right beside me, and I keep locking onto the helicopter that's above me. Alright, so we got one more, and this one's inside the building, so there's really no way to get this one with the helicopter. Don't want to use that. Let's use this. There we go. Take that one out. Done. Cool. Now I gotta do it all over again. I think these are actually easier than the first set. At least this isn't timed, so you don't have to worry about that. I hate doing missions that are timed. Where is this dude at? Oh, I'm a street too early. It's on the next street. I have a lot of problems reading this map sometimes. Oh yeah, that, that worked. Good job. Locking onto the cop that was on the interstate and the other car that I needed was right there. I was just talking about that. And this guy's driving like he's on fire. Alright, did not run that one. Okay. So 
let's head over here. Let's get these ones that are driving around first. I'll go get that one that's just the parking lot. These ones that are driving around are actually more of a pain in the butt. But at least they're not in armored vehicles. But some of the ones that they're in are faster. Normal vehicles that would just be on the street. Oh, I missed them. Got him. Cool. Oh, locked onto the cop. Good thing I can't get more than two stars in this mission. As many cops as I've killed, I probably would easily have four or five right now. Oh, right into the side of the building. Oh, it rolled that car, but it didn't destroy it. I hate those random rockets that start to lock onto something and then just go wherever they want to go. Is it at? Oh, there it is. It's hiding. And of course, I can't lock onto it for some reason. Let's see if I can get it from over here. Yep. Cool. Now all I gotta do is lose the cops and go over there, get in the Sasquatch, and then deliver that. So this mission takes a little bit longer, but if you use the helicopter, it's a little bit easier. Probably do it this way from now on. Even though I might try different vehicles. So I would like to try my Savage. That one has a lot better rock. I don't know if I can call that. I can't call that one in. Well, I might be able to if I have it in my hangar. But I don't know. We'll see. So I took out a bunch of my vehicles that were in the hangar. over here. And as long as I don't get cops again, I should be pretty much set. Just drive this over, deliver it, and get paid. Make some money. So we got this whole new DLC fixing to come out, this casino deal. And I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is they're going to add a new currency. Because you can buy money like GTA cash with real money. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to add a cryptocurrency, something like a Bitcoin or something like that, that you can only earn through missions. And then that'll be what you can use for gambling. Because I don't think they're going to allow you to use shark card money because I think that's going to violate gambling laws. Probably international gambling laws because there's a lot of different ones for different countries. I mean, even the state I live in has certain laws that other states don't have. But so I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to introduce a new cryptocurrency kind of thing to where you can only earn it probably through whatever missions or buildings or whatever it is they're going to add through jobs. And then that is what you'll be able to use for your gambling. Oh, I got cops again. That's typical. Uh, let me lose these cops. But yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Kind of like how they did with Red Dead, where they used gold that you can buy and then you earn money. You know, kind of stuff like that. I don't know. Because you can't really use the gold that you buy for gambling. If I'm pretty sure. I, I only went into the gambling thing one time just to check it out. But I played it a bunch of times in story mode and loved it. So hopefully they'll have some really cool things going on hey, for the casino. Oh, hopefully. Help? But so it's probably just going to be a big old trouble, pain huh? in the butt again. Okay. Like Leave the nightclubs. Alright. So that is done. Let's see what we made on that one. Eh, not too bad. That's pretty good. I like the double cash, double RP. Don't really need the RP, but the cash is great. Okay, 500 bucks and 
ammo. I don't even remember firing my gun. All right, so which one do I want to do? Let's do this one. This one's pretty good. It's basically the same mission I just did. It's just at a different location. So, well, not just did the one I did before, the Sasquatch one. Okay, want to play that? Yes. All right. So for this one, I think I'm going to call in the oppressor again. Do it like I did the one with the airplane. Try to get right over there, land as close to it as I can, drop right in. It seems to work really good with the first one. You need that one's called Simonomics or something like that. Let me know. I'll bring it to you. Right, so we'll wait for this to get delivered. i got to go buy my MOC and get some more ammo. See, that's another thing that kind of angers me. There needs to be some, like, MOC ammo points or places that other places I can buy ammo around the city. I mean, I know there's a couple. I can go to my, I think it's my hangar. Not my hangar, my uh, arena thing that's got the whatever in it. But I don't know. Just put it in the gun stores. Tired of having to call something else in just to do something. Oh, I bet I can land right up here. Make this all easy. Just like that. Now I'll just roll right off this roof. Jump in that car. That actually worked pretty good. Get out of here, buddy. So he started shooting me. There's a lot of cops over here. Man, these cops just go straight for shooting. You know, I'm just stealing a car. Oh, I went the wrong way. I should have went the other way. Let me remedy this. Okay, come down here. And the cops are hot on me, too. Take a shortcut. Oh, I don't remember where this goes. I think this dead ends. I don't know, it's been a while since I've been over here. I'm usually running through here with people shooting at me. Well, I can go this way. There's a way to get back over here. Yep, cool. i just turn around. Ah, it's that same damn car. Look what I'm doing. All right, because the only time you can lose the cops on this one is if you get closer to where you have to deliver it, which is a big pain in the butt. Oh, look at this guy. That's how we do that. You can wreck my Ferrari. I know this is a classic Ferrari, but man, causing all kinds of damage to it. I have to do the old power slide right here. Power slide. That's cool. It's like the cops are just spaced out just far enough to where you continuously take them. And how did this cop know I was going this way? How would he know to be down here? He wouldn't. Another power slide. Now let's see if we can ditch these cops. That one cop's right on my tail. So like he's trying to earn a citation or something. Oh, I got a spot right over here. Pull in right up here. This should work pretty well. So I'm under the bridge. I'm hidden from the sides. I'm sure the cops will find me because they usually normally do. But if they don't, this will be a good spot. So I'm pretty sure you cannot call Simeon in this. I'll try the next time. This takes forever. What I hate is when it's almost gone and then this one cop will just pop up and just start heading right straight for you. Oh, that aggravates me a lot. It's little things like that that aggravate me. 
It's like, you know, when you're trying to make a hot dog and the hot dog bun doesn't split the right way and it just tears at the end. That makes me so mad. That that would probably be the thing that makes me snap. Is just having that happen continuously. That dude cussed at me. Alright, so we got one of these vehicles delivered. That wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't too good, but it wasn't horrible. Could have been worse. Alright, so we got this spot right here. Let's call in the oppressor and do it again. Yeah, that's much easier doing it that way. Okay. There we are. Let's get on the stingy bee. That's what I call this thing now that I repainted it yellow and black. It's called the stingy bee. Oh yeah, I was going to switch over to the machine guns before I did this mission and totally forgot about that. That was like some internal thinking I was doing. Oh well. So I'm not really going to need the machine guns in this one. Probably won't even fire a shot. Alright, so we are back again. I like how I only got the cops when I got real close to the ground. It's like they didn't see me hovering there. They're just like, oh, wait till he gets closer before we give him the cops. Just straight into shooting me. Slide. No, I don't think I'll be stopping this car. See, these this police station is too close to where I have to deliver to. This should police station should be further away, so I have more time to lose the cops. I take it this isn't a social Yep, call. I knew you couldn't do it. I just wanted to make sure. Give me a call back when simple decisions don't freak button. you out so much. No. Alright, so let's do the same thing. Come back down over here. Let's try this other way. Oh, you know what? Let's go down here into the Merryweather thing. I want to try a test of theory. Let's go inside here. Let's see if the cops will follow us. Because I remember one time I did this in a, in a session and the cops wouldn't follow me in here. So I wonder if they'll do it in a mission too. Just gotta be careful. Don't hit any of these guys in here because everybody in here will start shooting you. Yeah, I don't think they'll come in this area. See on the mini-map how they're all stopped right there? Hmm. So this might be my new location to come to, to get rid of the cops every time. Interesting. Alright, so that works out. That gives me a new secret location to come to. Because if the cops won't come in there, that's where I'm heading every time. I'm just going slow to make sure there's no cops over here because it's worse than come flying out of here and then hit a cop and get stars again. I've done that. And it makes you very angry. Alright. So that's how I am going to do that every time. I'm going to go straight to Merriweather's little spot over there. Hide in there, lose the cops, and then come right over here. I bet I could do this really fast like that. We'll have to test that again next time. Because I think I'm going to end this video right here. Because we did pretty good. Played some missions, made some money. A little bit over 100,000. So, that's pretty good. Alright, well, this is Grey Witch. I hope this video helps you out. And I will see you next time. Peace!